Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy and today I'm going to share with you another low carb meal prep that you can do to set yourself up for success for the upcoming week. So welcome back. It has been a minute. I have been so busy um, and I'm still trying to get just caught up on everything. I took a vacation. I went to St. Augustine, Florida, and it was amazing. If you follow any of my vlogs, you need to go check that video out. It will be linked down in the description box below. But St. Augustine, Florida is a beautiful place to visit, and if you've never visited there, you need to go and give it a try. So as many of you know, I have been trying to change my life into something that makes me happy. I'm creating a life that I love to live. And part of that is me working on my health. And I've shared all that in lots of videos. And if you haven't seen those, check those out as well. But one thing that I try to do to set myself up for success for the week is by doing meal prep. And so today I'm gonna share yet another meal prep. And all of my meal preps are very similar because it's just what works for me. And it's very simple. It's just, you have a protein, you have a veggie, you have some seasonings, and you have a sheet pan. So I've shared lots of sheet pan meal preps in the last few videos. I'm sharing yet another one because you guys are telling me, hey, I like getting these ideas. I like getting ideas on how to switch it up. And so that's what we're doing today. So the first thing I do for my meal prep is I always want to get a protein. Your proteins can be chicken, pork, shrimp, fish, beef, whatever it is. If you don't want to have the meat option, your protein can be some type of a bean, a legume, something like that. You can use tofu, okay? You can use impossible meat. The world's your oyster. You can use whatever you want. <laughs> so today I am using beef stew meat because that's what I had on hand. So I'm going to use beef stew meat. That's going to be my protein. Then I like to add in my veggies to bulk it up and to also give you those vitamins and nutrients that you need. So I've got some baby bella mushrooms that need to be used. Mushrooms with steak goes perfect together. And I think I'm just going to bulk it up with some frozen green beans. I'm going to season it up on my sheet pan and boom, we've got a few meals made for the week so that we can just grab it out of the fridge and go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to get my meat onto the sheet pan and then I'm going to put my veggies on. I think, yeah, I have an onion. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole onion because I mean that's a pretty big onion. So I think I'll do maybe half of this onion as well. I love onions and mushrooms with steak. So I think that's going to go well. I'm going to get everything on the sheet pan. I'm going to get it seasoned up. And I think today I'm going to use this Kinder's The Blend. I've used that before on my channel. I love it. It's great flavor. It's got your salt, your pepper, and your garlic. Great flavor. I think I'm just going to use this and some olive oil. I think I'm going to keep it simple this week because the steak and the mushrooms and the onions themselves are going to have a lot of flavor. So let me get you turned around. Let's get our sheet pan meal ready for our oven. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do on my sheet pan is I'm going to get some olive oil down on the bottom of the pan, just like so. And I don't want this to stick, so I'm just going to take a paper towel, a clean paper towel, and just kind of spread that olive oil around just so that we don't have anything to stick. Next, I'm going to take my beef stew meat. You could use whatever that you have. This is what I had on hand. If you had steaks, I think I showed in another video where you could just go ahead and cut your steaks up into chunks. I like to go ahead and put this into chunks because it's easier to divide among the meal prep. Also, when you're taking this out for a lunch to go, you don't have to worry about having a knife to cut up your steak. So that's why I like that. So I'm gonna get my steak put on my sheet pan here. All right, so now I have my steak on there. Now I'm gonna give my hands a wash. Take 
my baby Bella mushrooms. These were already sliced. You could buy the whole ones if you want. I cleaned them up. So I'm just gonna spread those around. We really love mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, it's okay. Leave them off. Put something else on there that you like. That's what I love about these meals. They're just so versatile. You just put whatever you like and whatever you have on there. And hey, I like mushrooms. I think it's a fun guy. But I'm bum. Oh goodness. Okay. There are my mushrooms. We can't forget the onion. Let's get the onion. Okay, so like I said, this is a pretty big onion, so I think I'm only going to use half of it. I'm still loving this knife. This is my Nakano knife. It is so good for the kitchen, just chopping veggies. It's just so effortless. I love it. Um, I've got a link down below if you'd like to check out an Econo knife for yourself. I might should have left those in bigger chunks, but it's fine. I got to thinking about dicing, and I just diced it up. So that'll be fine. Add lots of flavor to the dish. All right, so now let's get back to the sheet pan. Okay, so here we have our steak, mushroom, and those onions. Now I'm just gonna fill in with some frozen green beans. You can put as many as you want. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on here. Maybe about half the bag. Yeah, about half the bag. And there you go, there's that. So now I'm ready to season. I'm gonna start by drizzling olive oil. And then I'm gonna take some tongs and just give that a toss. Just to make sure that everything's coated in that olive oil. Does that not just look yummy already? And this is so healthy. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna take my Kinder's The Blend, and that's all I'm using today. Um, I love this stuff, so I'm gonna be pretty generous here. All right, and give it another toss. And voila, I'm gonna put this in a 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. All right, here is that sheet pan meal out of the oven. Let's get this box up and in the fridge. All right, so I got four meals out of that sheet pan. And this is going to go in the fridge. All right, so here are some thoughts on this sheet pan meal. I meal prep it and I put it in the fridge to take for lunches. But if you are someone who lives on your own, because I know a lot of my viewers are alone or they're only cooking for two people, you could cook this meal on a Sunday or a Monday or any day of the week, eat that meal one night, have a meal again later in the week, store it in the fridge, and then you don't have to cook again. I call that cook once, eat two or three times. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you're not getting bored with these. I know that a lot of times it's like, oh, another sheet pan meal. But I do try to put a different twist on it. And I am just sharing my life with my channel. And this is real life. This is what I'm doing today. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. Give me some ideas for a different spin on some meal prep because I get in a rut too. And I feel like I, need new and fresh ideas and that's where you come into play because you can help me so leave a comment down below if you like this video give me a thumbs up guys life is so good right now i am so happy and i am so happy to be here sharing with you and i will see you in a video very soon bye